What's up guys? Welcome back to the ranch. All right ranchers, today I'm gonna tell you a quick tale about maybe something you might wanna have, especially being an outdoorsy guy like myself, when I'm on the road, way out there in the middle of nowhere, excited to get in the woods and hunt. Get all that gear on, get in the woods, get to do your thing, planting, be out there, come back, and your truck is dead, and it's raining. <laughs> what do you do? Well, what I have had in my car for a little while now, and never had to use until very recently, and I was very excited about it, so much so that I thought about filming and showing you this NextPal Jump Starter. So this thing right here. I've had this in my truck for like a year and I got it and I thought, ah, it was a white elephant gift. It's fun, I'll throw up my car. I got jumper cables, I'll be fine. Worst case scenario, I could always get a jump. Well, I broke down in the pouring rain with no one around and it would have been terrible. <laughs> so, broke this out, was able to get it on my truck here, jump myself, and get going. So I figured I'd do a little short product review of this product and show it to you, because maybe with you being an outdoorsy person who's watching my videos, you might decide to throw something like this in your truck as well, because let me tell you, this was a lifesaver for me. It would have been a terrible adventure had I not had this. I was able to jumpstart my truck. Let's dive in and I'll show you how this works. All right, so we're inside the Tundra. This is the box. This is what you get. Next pal. It's an all included little egg. I've kept it in the box just to have it that way. As you can see, the box is pretty beat up. I just tape it and throw it in my back seat. It's been under my front seat, under the passenger seat. And this is what you get. You get this little case, you get the actual unit, you get uh, a charging wire, a C wire, you get um, a cigarette lighter, which I call cigarette lighter, I don't even know if anyone calls that anymore, and then you get this little setup, which is the plug and the alligator clips. This is what really, really counts and does the trick. So uh, let's see how that works, and I'll show you what's gonna happen. So we kind of don't need the charger and the cigarette lighter thing. We need that and put this away, this little foam thing. And what you want to do is you want to uh, come to your unit and once in a while turn it on. See this little on off, on off, and it'll indicate, it'll indicate the charge. So on, and yeah, I got a full charge now because I just recharged it because I've just lived through the nightmare. And then it has um, plugging outlets. So you could do DC out, USB out, USB-C in, that's how we charge it, USB two out, and then the one that looks like the car with the roof up. That's the one that's important. It has also a little flashlight on the back. You could use this as like a charging station for your phone too in a pinch. Um, and it's pretty, pretty awesome yeah, in that respect. It charges fairly quick, and all you gotta do is take the section that has the car, take this little apparatus that they, comes with it. It's pretty much, you could see, it lines up shape and shape. So you're gonna put it in like that. It has the directions right there, the code and everything on it and it will light up, light up blue, which we got there, and blue, which this means we're all set, and then when we connect it, it'll turn green, so let's do that. Connect your positive to positive, connect your negative to negative, and can you see that in the video? It has lit up green now. So we're actually jumping this battery, and you could go in and start your car. I'm not gonna do that in this video because I'm good. I just replaced this battery the other night. But that's all there is to this, and you'd be able to get out of trouble. So I'll include the links to this in the description of the video, as well as the safety lights I have in my car. 
Maybe that's something you're thinking about getting for your car for the, your outdoor adventures. I mean, it's about the size of like two iPhones and it was a lifesaver for me. So maybe it could be a lifesaver for you too. Definitely worth having in your truck or car. All right, ranchers, this is the unit and that's all there is to it. You may want to throw this in your car too, just in case don't want to get caught out there. All right, guys, I was so happy to have it. Let's get back to hunting and food plotting. I'll include all the links in the description to this product. Thanks for watching.